ora. I'm Micah Aykroyd from the Let's Shop Tarafati page. We're again collaborating with the Gisborne Herald and we're here outside Puku Ora with Irana and Amy who really believe in eating well and being well. It's so exciting what they have to say and how passionate they are about Puku Ora. So let's hear about their drive through that they have available here and also what they're doing with schools in Tairawhiti with lunches that they're delivering. The concept around um, kind of our motto of eat well, be well is that food can be really nourishing but it also can be very healing and the food that we use we try to avoid lots of harmful ingredients. We just kind of keep it real and fresh and raw and, and really good for you and so the part about the eat well and be well is that when you do um, eat like that you just feel a whole um, wellness in you and but it also leads on to our next project as well um, the eat well is there but the be well and so we have a very big um, project coming out soon we won't let it out yet but it's it's going to be awesome isn't it, it kind of yeah. yeah it will kind of bring the balance um, body, mind and spirit, so we're really looking forward to that part of it. Irina and I, we have 10 kids between us and we're not perfect ourselves when it comes to health, but we're on a health journey ourselves. For us, we what we love about Pukwara is, and I guess what we wanted to achieve through Pukwara is to inspire others to start their journey. It doesn't matter how big you are, you are, what stage you're at, we want people to feel welcome to come here and try something. Maybe they've never tried vegan or they've never tried gluten-free food, but they want to learn more about um, being healthier and eating healthier. And so we welcome them to come on the journey with us. The stress level gets really up there with a the business, owning your own business. So for us, we've really taken a lot of steps to try to manage that stress, mm. like delegating and sharing. Sharing with the team has been a big one. Allowing them to come up with great ideas and yeah, allowing the them awesome. to support us, and that's been amazing. Between us, we've lost um, 30 kgs since October, so the journey's been really cool to share with other people now and see the results coming through, especially for Afano. That's why we kind of do this, and we do it, you know, yeah, well, we with a lot of passion and love. Go and change that generational cycle, dying too young and really bad health. So. Oh, that was so crazy because we not only had our families to take care of and our staff but we actually moved the entire shop in one day too <laughs> and then we got to afternoon and we were like okay we better go make sure our families all sorted as well so it was crazy but our team helped us out so much I just couldn't believe it you know it was kind of sad too to say okay I hope you're to our team okay we don't know what's going to happen yeah so yeah we didn't know how we were going to support them and stuff so yeah. when the government announced that we were moving into level three we got the team together on a zoom meeting we just put it to them and we said what can we do under the circumstances and what do you think would be the best way forward and i think it was really important to involve our staff and get them on board and allow them to come up with some of the solutions. We had this crazy idea on Monday, it was a public holiday, we saw this empty blue box on Trade Me and we clicked by now and it arrived the next morning and the staff turned up to help get ready for the week and they saw the blue box and they were like right let's make this happen so in four days we had it all fitted out we had all our branding done and the house was getting painted um, yeah we need we just felt like we needed to make the most of what little time we have we talked about how can we turn um, lemons into lemonade and this is how we tried to come up with that. We had been thinking about going online, um, we'd been thinking about doing deliveries and we've always wanted a drive through for healthy um, food. I'm a busy mum of six kids and I hate having to get out of the car and take all the kids in just so I could get me some healthy food and avoid the drive throughs of the non-healthy food. So this is something we always talked about but I think with the circumstances it just gave us that nudge that we needed to do it. We also cater for, um, we have contracts with some of the schools in Gisborne and yeah, well normally we are operating, when we're operating, um, we are providing about 970 lunches every day to school kids. Cooked healthy food um, and since the lockdown obviously we have, haven't been able to do any of that. Um, and with schools being in level three, there's like really, really small numbers 
So we cook, we're still cooking fresh lunches for those kids and um, came up with the idea of creating food packs for the families to drive through and pick up um, or they can pick them up from their schools. So it's a week's worth of lunch food. That Just to support the families at home because yeah. we know our kids eat through the cupboards when they're at home and so it's really hard to keep up with um, the demand of food <laughs> and so we just we wanted to um, provide something okay, that would support those families um, during this very unusual time. With this um, health concern um, with COVID-19 just realising how much we need our health and to also just care for each other so that's been a really cool mm. thing that we've found has been a growing kind of movement in our community it's been awesome um, and around the world you can see the changes that are coming out from this so I think it's really cool. And I think um, like from it we I know that we've tried really hard to support other local businesses we're bringing in as much as we can that's local now. We had a re-look at our suppliers and tried to look at how we can support other local businesses. I guess for other business owners, just be brave and innovative kind of think and keep trying. Outside the box eh, at this time. Yeah, yeah. It's just changing, finding that momentum forward through the difficult challenges. Yeah. But um, just staying positive and keeping yourself well. <laughs> I did not do it justice. <laughs> no.